Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is this look right here. I used the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette to come up with this look. Do I look like her? I wish. Yeah, I used that palette to come up with this look and if you guys want to see how I got it, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I already primed my eyes with a little bit of the NARS concealer and set them from the brow bone down to the crease with the RMS powder. And today we're going to be working off the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. Isn't this packaging beautiful? I wish these were my eyes. Yeah? No? Yeah? Yes. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the inside. And look at the sleeve, like usually these sleeves are so crappy, but these ones are nice. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm going to take a crease brush and I'm going to dip into Eden, which is like a beautiful peachy color. Ooh, that doesn't have any like kick off at all. So I'm going to take that color and put it in the crease, use this as a transition color. So I'm just going in windshield wiper motions and circular motions. It's a really, really light color. It's not really showing up. So if it's the same case for you, just keep dipping in. So blend it all out until you don't really have any color left on your brush. And then just keep dipping in until you have um, that pigment that you want. I don't want anything too strong but I do want it to show up. So I'm depositing the most color right here on the side, on the corner, sorry, and then going in. Next, I'm gonna go in with Blazing, which is this beautiful orange color. And I'm using a more tapered brush this time. It has a point to the end of it. And I'm gonna pretty much do the same thing and just put that color on top of Eden. Just um, pointed more at the crease this time instead of so above it. I'm trying to talk louder because every time my husband edits these videos, he gets mad at me because I literally start whisper talking while I'm doing this. Just because it's so new and I'm not used to like talking through makeup, so... Sorry about that, you guys. But, <laughs> I'm gonna try to be much louder now. Next, I'm going to take a flat shader brush and I'm gonna go into Saffron, which is this beautiful red right here. Just gonna really load it up on the brush. So what I'm gonna do with this color is put it in the inner corner. Just place the color for now. Don't worry about blending just yet. I'm also going to take that color on the outer part of my eye, the outer corner, and just build them up until you have like a really good solid color. So now I'm taking a clean brush. This is a MAC 221. It's really skinny and I'm going to take that and I'm going to really lightly just blend out those that shade so that it doesn't look so harsh. There I go, whispering again. So just blend that out until it looks more hazy. You can even start taking it a little bit in the crease. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you're, the best way to use like these duochromes and shimmers are with your finger. So I want to go in with retrograde, but I've seen that this has been like the worst swatched one. Like it barely, barely comes off on the finger, but I'm gonna try it. I'm just gonna take that and put it in that spot that has no color. So I'm just putting it in that middle bald spot that had no color on it. So I'm not gonna lie, um, the duochrome shades definitely gave me some trouble 
I could barely get any pigment out of retrograde, so I mixed it with Twilight, which is this other purple one, purpley one, and I just had to keep going in, applying, blending, going in, applying, blending. I tried it with a brush, Fix Plus, but I find the best way to apply them is definitely with your finger. You just have to have a lot of patience because I literally had to keep going in and then blending everything out and going in to get this pigment. So that's just something to know about when you're using this palette. Okay, I think I'm gonna work on the face for a little bit now. Just gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna use for my base. I'm not gonna show it just because I feel like I do that all the time. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Smashbox Primerizer. I am going to use Maybelline's Cushion Foundation. I love this thing. And then Milk Makeup Flex Concealer. And then I will be back with my base. So I put a little bit of powder, well, a lot of powder, just to catch any fallout since I have done my base now. Next, I'm going to take this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil. This is the purple one. And I'm going to put that in my waterline. I always like to melt it onto my hand and then apply because then it'll go on a lot softer and won't really tug. I'm going to take a black one now. This is the Marc Jacobs Highliner and I'm going to tightline with this. So I'm going to smudge out that liner now with a flat brush, a smudger brush, sorry, and the color Amethyst, which is a really beautiful purple. So I'm just going to take that on like a smudger brush and just smudge out that color. So what I'm doing now is I'm just taking a crease brush and I'm dipping into Eden again. And I'm just going to use that to lightly blend out all the edges. You can go down on your under eye, take it up and around, kind of pulling it out right here, winging it out. I'm going to go in with a flat brush and desert sand, which is this matte color up here. And I'm going to apply that lightly to the brow bone. You could also use this shade to clean up your crease if you feel like your colors went up too high. Next, I'm going to mix, not mixed actually, I'm gonna take this color and I have no idea how to pronounce it, but it's that really pretty shimmer. I'm gonna take that on the inner corners. So for highlight today, I'm gonna go into the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlight in Kitten. It's that putty highlighter. And I'm gonna take this Real Techniques Contour Brush it's so weird, like, it's a legit putty. And I'm going to take that on the highlight areas. It looks so pigmented on some people, but it looks really subtle on me. I don't know why. Like, on other people, it's so wham-bam. I mean, I can't see any. I'm going to try it with my finger. It's a little bit better. So I'm going to blend that highlight out with my bronzer. I like to do this more with cream highlights. I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. I kind of stipple and then go back and forth. I'm going to take that highlight around the perimeters of my face as well. For contour, I'm going to go into the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. This is my favorite contour palette. And I'm going to use the first two shades. I like to keep it pretty close to the ear. I don't take it too far down because then it starts to look more fake, I feel like. For blush today, I'm going to use Urban Decay Dallas. It's just a really beautiful nude blush. Go in with a light hand. This is extremely pigmented. I'm gonna apply that to the apples, blending upwards. For mascara today, I'm gonna be applying the All May One Coat Mega Volume Mascara. 
this is what the wand looks like. It's one of those telescopic, is that the word? You can see it's like really lengthening and thickening. I actually really like this one. So you could combine this with any lip that you want, a nude, a dark one. I'm going to go with a dark one today just because I want it to look a little bit vampy. So I'm going to use this lipstick. It's a matte one from Makeup Forever in the color M501. It's like a really pretty dark berry color. Okay, you guys, so here is the final look using the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe so I could see all of you guys in my next one. Bye, guys!